so we have a 2016 Prius here. You see my little black marks? For every little black mark, there's two fins. There's 14 fins in one inch. This is an aftermarket condenser. The OEM condenser has 21 fins per inch. Uh, this also has a few fewer cooling passage tubes for refrigerant. And I'm having a problem here. Well, it's not a problem that the customer will notice. The customer doesn't notice they're screwed from an aftermarket condenser, but it's only 74 degrees out here. And I'm in the shade with no heat load. Car's been sitting overnight, it's cold and it's instantly jumping up to 200 PSI as soon as it starts up. Let's see, let me get up there, 216. Come on, get, wait, get me up there. That doesn't want to do with my, my gloves are uh, really, well, about 230, 220, 230. Yeah, well, let, let's get back here and actually look at real numbers. Let's wait for 225, 226, so it's probably hitting right around 230 at its peak and cutting off before it can actually grasp and uh, do a screen capture of it. So 226 was the highest number that we've seen. And it's just like shooting up like a rocket and it's cool out and it's constantly cycling and it shouldn't be running like this if it had an OEM condenser. Well, this is something you learn after doing several hundred Priuses, several thousand. Uh, when you do these things on a daily basis, especially if you do one or two or three back to back or two in the same shop and you have one with an OEM condenser, the same year make model and another one with a bad aftermarket one like this that only has a 14 tube, tube, 14 fin tube count, fin count, uh, you end up with this little nut problem. Now, most of you guys on a hot day who would be doing it anyway say, oh, that's normal. No, on this particular car, that rapid of a high, the high side just skyrocketing like that is not normal for this, if it was an OEM condenser. So that's something you just learn over experience. There's no books that are gonna tell you that. That's what you get when you test every vehicle you know and you know what the superheat is, you know what the subcooling is for that particular vehicle because that information is not released by manufacturers. And you only can perform these tests on a perfectly filled system by weight, by what the manufacturer recommends. And when they sell aftermarket condenser like that, it is no longer correctly to take the correct charge from an after, from an OEM charge to that. This particular manufacturer's aftermarket condenser screws up the charge amount. And you know, there's some guys, oh, well, you could just lower the refrigerant. No, you can't. You do what the OEM says. Unless the aftermarket condenser itself comes with a piece of paper specifying the exact charge that should be changed and offset for putting aftermarket, it is not your responsibility to try to attempt to adjust for shitty products. That's it. That's my uh, rant on some aftermarket condensers. See you guys later. Feel sorry for this. When it hits 100 degrees outside, I feel sorry for this kidnet uh, customer.